Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, President Abdel Majid Taboun. His Majesty expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion of His Excellency winning the presidential elections, wishing the brotherly Algerian people further success and prosperity, and praised the close relations that bind the two countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. His Majesty expressed sincere congratulations on the victory of the Conservative Party by a majority in the parliamentary elections and praised the historical relations that bind the two friendly countries and the development and growth that these relations have always witnessed in many fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, President Abdel Majid Taboun. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion of His Excellency winning the presidential elections, wishing the brotherly Algerian people further success and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on the victory of the Conservative Party by majority in the parliamentary elections and praised the historical relations that bind the two friendly countries and the development and growth that these relations have always witnessed in many fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Oman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, President Abdel Majid Taboun. His Royal Highness expressed and congratulations on the occasion of His Excellency winning the presidential elections, wishing the brotherly Algerian people a further success and prosperity, and praised the close relations that bind the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Oman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on the victory of the Conservative Party by a majority in the parliamentary elections and praised the historical relations that bind the two friendly countries. The representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Khaled Yosef Zawaid and his wife Afaja Yosef Al Hashil, who were accompanied by their newborn daughter, Dahab Khaled Zawaid. The Bruni couple have named the newborn baby girl Dahab, which means gold. Dahab was born in the year of gold, which was launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, to mark a year laden with landmark sports achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also received Ahmed Adil Arayad and his wife Nur Karim Zaki, who named the newborn daughter, newborn baby Nasser Abdel Arayad after His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the historic achievement of the national football team, which won the 24th Gulf Cup. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed the parents of Dahab and Nasser, wishing the newborn babies abundant health and happiness. The parents also thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the warm welcome, hailing his dedicated efforts to develop youth and sports sectors in Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met in his office at the Ministry's General Court the Second Minister of Foreign Affairs of Brunei Dar es Salaam, Aram Pahim Yosef. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the guest, expressing pride in the close cooperation and friendship relations between Bahrain and Brunei and the progress they are witnessing at all levels in light of the attention accorded to them by the two countries. He affirmed the constant aspiration of the Kingdom to develop its cooperation with Brunei in various fields to meet the aspirations and hopes of the two brotherly countries and peoples, wishing the country further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also expressed pride in Bahrain's accession to the Treaty of the Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, 
which reflects the kingdom's keenness and strength in its relations with ASEAN at all levels and in a manner that serves the common interests. For his part, Erewan Pehem Yosef expressed pleasure to have met Sheikh Khalid and noted the distinguished level of bilateral ties, his country keenness to enhance consultation and coordination in various forums, wishing the kingdom progress and prosperity. The two sides also exchanged views on the latest regional and international developments. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, expressed a sincere congratulations to the United Kingdom on the success of its parliamentary elections, stressing that the results of these elections will contribute to achieving the aspirations of the friendly people of the United Kingdom of further prosperity in various fields, as well as opening up new horizons for the relations between the UK and all countries of the world. The Foreign Minister reaffirmed the King of Bahrain's pride in the close historical and strategic friendship that extended for centuries with the United Kingdom and its continuous progress. He also noted the coming period of witness an enhancement of various aspects, bilateral cooperation and advancement of political, military, economic, commercial and other fields, as well as the continuation of mutual coordination in a manner that benefits the two friendly countries and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputised Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamadan to attend the 35th annual ceremony to honour outstanding hard-working employees and distinguished establishments in the private sector. The event held under His Majesty the King's patronage was organised by the Labour and Social Development Ministry as part of the Kingdom celebrations of the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad's accession to the throne and National Day. The ceremony was attended by officials and public personalities, labour leaders, trade and economic functions, representatives of trade unions, dignitaries, representatives of professional societies and civil society organisations, in addition to board chairpersons of private sector companies and institutions, executives and invitees. The Minister conveyed congratulations from His Majesty the King to the honorees, as well as his pride in the national workforce, who have always been exemplary in their dedication and hard work. The Labour Minister highlighted the qualitative initiatives launched by the government for the sake of integrating the national job seekers in the private sector, including the National Employment Programme, NEP, which was launched based on the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting that more than 9,000 nationals have been employed since the launch of NEP last February. He also unveiled the Labour and Social Development Ministry's plans to launch a new electronic employment mechanism next year, in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority, to enable job seekers to register in the Ministry's list and look for jobs that appeal to them directly. As part of the second edition of the Government Innovation Competition, FICRA, launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 12 ideas have qualified for the final stage of the competition. These finalists will now have to present their ideas to an evaluation committee, made up of government ministers, which will carefully evaluate all the proposals and select those that will end up being implemented. In order to qualify to the final 12, each of the 40 initially selected ideas had to be presented to an evaluation committee in a three-minute pitch. The selected ideas were Government Procurement Platform Courts Application Virtual Employment Centre Al Hafiz, an application for productive families The National Technical Skills Development Programme National Strategy for Electric Vehicles E-Park BH, Replacement of Parking Meters with Application E-Sick Leave System Citizens Digital Document Wallet and Blockchain Government Vehicles Allocation App Energies Thakath and the Media Ambassador <laughs> 